In this video, I'll go over different ways to use the arrow keys to navigate within a sheet in LibreOffice Calc. It'll cover a common problem that will prevent navigating among cells and also go over keyboard shortcuts when using the shift or control keys along with the arrow keys. Welcome, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make videos and tutorials to help people learn about and accomplish more with Calc software. So first, I'll talk about troubleshooting a common problem when using the arrow keys. So typically, moving the cell selection over with the arrow keys is pretty straightforward. If I press the down arrow, my selection goes down by one. The problem is when the scroll lock key is used. So now I'll press scroll lock, and then when I try to press right arrow, we see that the selection stayed at cell B8, and instead of moving the selection, the whole sheet scrolled over one column over to the right. And if I press the down arrow, we see that the sheet scrolled down one row as a result. So when the scroll lock is on, it acts as if I'm trying to use the scroll bars to navigate down a row, or similarly, I could navigate down a whole page. Now when I turn off the scroll lock, I can go back to changing the cell selection by using the arrow key again. There is a benefit to using the scroll lock because it's a little bit faster to navigate with the keyboard instead of using the mouse and the scroll bars. So when I have the scroll lock on, I could press down arrow or also I could press page down and it'll scroll down the whole page. Then I could easily return back to my view without having to change where my cell selection was. And also I don't have to change where my mouse cursor was. Because normally when I navigate with the mouse, I have to then also bring the mouse cursor back to where I was working in. Now I'll talk about using the shift key along with the arrow key. So if I hold down the shift and press the down arrow, it selects the current cell and the cell below it. So I can keep holding down the shift key and press the down arrow multiple times. Then when I release all the keys, I could work with the data such as copying and then pasting. Now I'll show how to use keyboard shortcut along with the control key. If I press control and the down arrow, it moves my selection all the way to the end of the column. Now if I do that again by pressing control down arrow, it will navigate to the next section of data, but because I don't have anything else, it just went to the very last row in the spreadsheet. Then I know from where my current selection is, if I press control and up arrow, I'll go back to where my data is again. Using the control key is also another way to quickly navigate between your data sets. So here I have columns B and D. If I press control and right arrow, it skips to column D for me since it knows that column C I had no data in the cell. And if I press control and right arrow again, I'll go to the very last column in my sheet. And that's because I don't have any other data in between. So you could think of it as a quick way to jump from a range of data to another range based on the arrow direction you're using. And lastly, we can combine the shift and control keys. So here I'll press control shift and up arrow. Instead of just jumping to the very first cell in my range, it selected the cells from where my selection was to the very top. Then I can go ahead and copy and paste or work with the data that I selected. So I'll try that again. Here I clicked on cell B8 and I'll try control shift and down arrow. So I selected everything from my selection down to the last cell in the range. So this is an easy way to make quick selections. And I'll just copy my selection, paste it right next to it. And I'll show you that we could also use two directions. So here I'll press Control Shift down, and then I'll also, while holding down the Control and Shift keys, press the left arrow. Then it selects everything to the left of my selection. So if I had many columns with data, then I could select the whole block very quickly, and then go ahead and copy and paste the data in another cell or in another sheet. 
So that's the basics of using an arrow key for navigation. If you like learning about keyboard shortcuts, I recommend you to check my shortcuts playlist, which will appear at the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay nifty.